so that was a quick call we didn't take the whole 45 minutes yay so let me go back to writing this query so what i'm trying to huh start date end date no this isn't right it's basing it on what the end date yeah okay i need to adjust this all right so okay so what i've done is i've ex i've taken some of the data from one of the tables out of the, i've copied the 1000 rows out of the database so i can get the column names and see what the data looks like and determine what it is that i need to get so i know i need and this is where i'm going to use the concatenate function so i'm going to take what columns do i want i want Activity codes, select. I'm gonna indent this and so we got activity code. I need the ID, the date, and the trans date. Okay, so that and I need the user ID. And what else do I need? Do I need any of this? Okay, code. Okay, I think that's all I need from this table for now. And then I'm going to check it to make sure. Oh, I need to. That's a, a dot. And I'm adding in my alias because I gave this table name an alias. And I need to make this all uppercase so it is aligned okay where now i'm gonna put the trans day i need to change this where greater than okay so i got that and then from i need to i'm gonna left join it to my employee table And then let me get all my employee data. What do I need to pull? And B, B dot, and this. Uh, I think I need to pull. All right, what else do I need to pull in from here? Select, I'm gonna select top 100 from here. Select. Start date, end date. Okay, so I need, I'm going to put this in my, I'm going to paste this data from the table in my spreadsheet and this table. Oh my gosh, it has almost 200 columns, you guys. So this is why I'm like, I paste it in Excel <laughs> uh, so I can see, because this is ridiculous. We need the columns for different reasons, but still. So we're going to do a concat function on this too, so I can do my alias. This is to call about oh, where's my okay and what else do I need? Where is my do I have it open? No. Oh, I do have it. Uh oh, let me take this out because I need their user ID. test out this piece of code to see if it's giving me what I need. Oh, hold on. What is this? I want to see title. Oh, and I need to change this. Dog on it. Okay. Left, right, on. Okay. Forgot to left join on what do I have on oh, these two things so a a equals this from b and I think I need to do
All right, so I have the data. What I'm going to do is just check this in our actual system, the system that our employees use, just to, because I need to verify that the code is working as it should, because sometimes you can test it out and you can be like, mm, this isn't what I needed. So I always like to test it out against another source if it's available, you know? So what I'm going to do is, oh my gosh, like how do I? So I'm just going to put one of the some of the information in the system to check and make sure for the time frame that I'm looking at that the dates tied to that it's actually what I need. Hold on, which number what info did I even copy? Okay, so I copied the first one and I need to see if they had activity on what day. This was on January 1st. So this is on what day? January, where's the effective date? January, 2024. This is all from that day. Effective date. Where is the code? No, it's not this. Oh, hold on, I'm looking in the wrong column. No, that is it for that on January 1. Let me check one other place. I don't know how to use this. <laughs> they changed this tool. It looks so different. <laughs> Obviously, I don't use it that often. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what I'm looking at anymore. What is this? I think I found a friend, I feel like. Communication alerts, open component. What is even going on? I, where, is this where I, thumbs down. I, what is this? Did they remove this capability? I feel so stupid right now. Okay, I'm gonna um stop because <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at. This looks so different. Like, what is this? Oh, send a message. Oh, here it is. Okay. L why? <sighs> you know what? Never mind. Let me change my date range to January. Let's see what happened in January. Okay. Oh, what was the activity date? 1-1 one, one and trans date 1-1. One, one. Okay, so 1-1 one, one. and we have and what was the number again? Okay, I'm gonna do a search for it too. Where is it at? Eight. It's supposed to highlight it. Filters. I'm just gonna, what do you mean? Uh, oh, I need to go back to January and change my search. Cause y'all, what do you mean unable? Okay, you know what? I saw it in there in January. Why does this have to be so difficult? Is that the same line? Three, four, six. All right, I'm trying to get this code together. I'm summarized. I got my data from my tables. I validated. It matched like the um, system that our employees use. Now what I'm doing is just summarizing by month. Okay, um, where is, where is, where is my next code? Um, okay, they may have, uh, we, I think we discontinued this particular product, but I'm still going to pull it. Where's the name? Oh, okay, what's the next code? I'm just creating an alias for all these codes so that I know what they mean because I'm having to look them up. Like this code means this, but I need to give it like a real name. So that's what I'm doing. So I can separate the different products, if that makes sense. So I'm doing a case statement. So when the product code equals this, I'm naming it what the actual product is because in the database or in this I don't know if it's the database, but this specific table, it doesn't have the name of the product. It just has the codes. So I'm looking up what each product is so that I can, what's the code? Okay, so this one is first. Then we have, I'm gonna do nine. Oh, one more left. Thank the Lord, because this is, tedious. All 
All right, um, where was I at? Because I was just addressing a question. This is, okay, let's see. Oh, and I need to save. Lord, God forbid anything shuts down on us. I need to save my code. Ah, yay, okay. that it will filter the okay all right let me send this oh my goodness okay I am working okay I feel like I'm not talking. I'm just working and tech and messaging people. <laughs> I need to send this initial file over, but I need to save it first. So I just gave them like a snapshot of the prelim results that I pulled from the database. I need to limit it down now to a work group, but I want to send over this file so they have some numbers to look at, you know, but I'm going to save this in my ad hoc folder first. All right, so I'm going to drop this in our Slack channel. Where is my folder? All right, so one part of the hurdle is over. I haven't even taken a lunch break, you know, like. I'm literally just multitasking on this call. I'm writing code, <laughs> trying to listen. Okay, you guys, it's almost 5 p.m. I need to log off for the day. Um, I've been working on some code during calls. Now I'm being told I need to change uh, what I've been pulling a little bit. And then also one of the product IDs that I've been looking for. I'm like looking in the tables for data for like November, December, 2023. So I can see how it's been performing month over month. Sales have been performing month over month since then. Come to find out it will not pull back because <laughs> this product didn't um, begin until May of this year, May 30th to be exact. So I can't even look at May date. I have to look at June 1st pretty much like, well, two days isn't gonna make a big difference. Two days in May, don't care. So I'm just gonna start pulling data starting in June. So I could have June, July, uh, I'm only gonna have three months of data. Look, they're trying to push this during the holiday. It didn't exist last year. There's nothing we can, there's nothing I can do about it. Like it didn't exist. So all I can give you is three months of data, but this is similar to the analysis I did for another product. And now I regret not pulling this product in that analysis because it could have been like a, oh, just, you know, kind of like wipe out all these other products and just leave it like trim it down to this one. But I did not do that. So here we are. Um, I will have to just, do that and then I also need to respond to this email. I feel like I just stopped in the middle of talking because I'm just I'm not the best at talking while I'm trying to do multiple things so I need to respond to this email to someone from finance because they slacked me and they're like did you see my email I did see your email but I've just been on back-to-back -back calls so I haven't had a chance to respond so they want us to add in for this audit that we're going through they want me to add in 
another field. So I'm just responding. So everyone knows in the email, yes, we will add this field in for our July audit. It's not in there for June, but we'll add it in there for July and we'll keep it moving. And for this other analysis, I feel like, yeah, I need to stop working. Okay, bye.